just a bunch of like Ukrainian refugees. Yep. And now everyone's in the car. We're all pumped up. Say hi, guys. What yeah. up? What's up? What up Zach's man? driving. Hi. And we're making our way up to Duluth. It's going to be exciting. Duluth. I can't wait. What are you thinking right we're now, Zach? We're going to Duluth. I'll, my friend invited me to dinner there like two days ago, but I couldn't make it. Well, too bad. You're going now. <laughs> going to Duluth. We're going Georgia. to Duluth. We're going to oh, Duluth, God. Georgia. This is going to be exciting. I can't wait. I haven't been there since... Uh, wasn't there a robotics trip there? I think there was. No. I don't think That's so. That's like Dalton. Yeah, uh, bro, I don't think, think there's Dalton there. Well, regardless, we're going. But, I mean, yeah, and, uh, there's a whole lot to do in Duluth. Uh, no, yeah, that is very true. Something. Yeah, but we're going to go. You Hi, still have no idea what's going Hi, on. High res is in, like, Alpharetta. It's, it's in... like, on the border. No. <laughs> now, I imagine you guys are as confused as Zach, so allow me to take some time to explain to you what's going on here. Women's sports. I know that really doesn't clarify anything, but allow me to give you a little bit of backstory. A couple weeks ago, I made a video on the USFL. You can actually click the title card in the top right corner to see what it's all about. In the video, I talk about how I'm a fan of niche sports. How the conventional is fun, but taking something out of the ordinary makes things a lot more interesting and a lot more entertaining personally to me. To be honest, I think that's why women's sports gets a bad rap. We constantly compare it to what we consider to be the conventional, men's sports. Women have so many different athletic talents that should be given their fair representation in the spotlight. So allow me to introduce you to... The Lingerie Football League. The LFL originally started out as the Lingerie Bowl. The Lingerie Bowl was a pay-per-view event that happened during the Super Bowl halftime show beginning in 2004. These teams were comprised of models and actresses, and in the first ever inaugural game, the Team Dream shut out Team Euphoria 6-0. Ironically, in 2004 when this started, you didn't actually have to pay to get a similar experience to the Lingerie Bowl because, um, uh... They kept the Lingerie Bowl going until 2009 when they decided to expand what was their singular game into a 10-team league. The Lingerie Football League was born and it continued on until 2013 when they decided they really needed a rebrand, so they rebranded it to the Legends Football League. They even expanded into Canada and Australia, creating companion leagues for both those countries until everything came into a grinding halt in 2019. The LFL decided that they were going to restructure and figure out where their best markets were, and in a few days after and making that announcement, they rebranded once again to the Extreme Football League. Not, not that one. That one. The X League managed to hit some bumps during COVID and postponed their 2020 and 2021 seasons. During that time, a new chairman came to the X League. A chairman who was going to bring back such a beloved and storied league. That man, a man with a very rich history in football, even winning Super Bowls. That man was the 1985 Chicago Bears head coach, Mike fucking Ditka. You can actually even buy Coach Ditka branded X-League merch on their official X-League website. Now that we got a little bit of an explanation, you're probably asking yourself, so Tom, why are you going to this? That's actually a very easy question to answer. You see, my friend Zach is a pure man, honest and simple, and I really like messing with him by surprising him with things, which is exactly what I did. Roll the clip! So you had to turn off because of copyright. Yeah, exactly. Since we're, you know, all caught up through my simple explanation in the beginning, now I feel like it's an appropriate time to explain to my good friend Zach here that tonight we're going to go support some more women's sports, and we're going to yes. go and watch the revived lingerie football league as your Atlanta Empire are going up against the Austin Sound in the brand new X League. Woo! <laughs> Try to contain your excitement. <laughs> what did you just say? Did you just said it was a gibberish. We are go we are going to a women's football game from what was formerly known as the lingerie football league is now called the X League. So that's like the legends. No, it was actually lingerie. I know it's LFL, <laughs> but I don't think the first L existed for lingerie. He doesn't know what to do. He's phased. He's stunned. <laughs> In fact, you can see the sign right there. You see the sign? Atlanta Empire kickoff? Ju July 9th? Yeah, XFL. I'm going to turn on my hazards. <laughs> Why'd you turn on your hazards? I'm going to turn on my hazards. <laughs> I'm in a hazard. Yeah, it's called the Legends Football League. 
I actually don't know for oh the right God. entrance. What do you mean? <laughs> it was rebranded the Legends Football League. Aww. Interesting. There we go. More you know. We made it into the arena, and Zach was very much in a state of shock. Well, we made it in. Love to get your thoughts as we're going through here. Your thoughts? Ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> is that is that it? Just. Uh. I already knew what was happening. I'm, I'm okay. pumped up. I'm ready to go. I'm pumped up too. All right. I think we're actually in section 111. Um. But I gotta double check that, so we're gonna pause for a second and I'm gonna double check. We got to our seats, we saw starting lineups, the game started, and... Boom. That is what every single one of the hits look like. They're just going after each other. These girls were electric, giving it to their all every single play. All right, play's about to start back up. But we saw our first drive about to end in a punt here. What are your thoughts? I'm, I'm watching it. I can see that. Ricky, Anything else? Ricky, are you Any watching? Thoughts? Ricky's watching. They're all watching. My personal favorite player from the night was number three of the Atlanta Empire, Lindsay Azell. She ran in multiple touchdowns during the game, and she fucking twerked every single time she scored a touchdown for the whole ass arena to see. And of course, don't forget, her teammates would help her out by giving her a good old smack on the ass. Just absolutely fucking crazy to think about. That they, like, you watch NFL games, and you don't see any of this stuff ever happening. They would never allow it. It'd be excessive celebration. It'd be such a big deal. Here, they embrace it. They push it right in front of you, and I think it's awesome. Hi, guys. Yeah. Zach, your back's to it. Uh. <laughs> All right. Back. First half, done with. You know. Yeah. Amazing game, so. We, we, got, we got some pretty interesting stuff, some twerking. We saw some twerking. That was oh, pretty yeah. true. This is true. I'll be honest, a lot of cool touchdown celebrations in this league, would, you would not get away with in the NFL. Exactly. Oh, yeah. exactly. Oh, that, no, no way. Like, I now, wish the NFL could get away with the things they do in this very, league. Very true, very true. Now, we're obviously here They're for like this man of the They're like shaking and slapping yes. asses when they get a touchdown. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. I, I just did not that's love that. That's his favorite. Yeah. We're here for you. You know, this is your experience. Uh -huh. So, like, uh, how are how are you taking this, my friend? There's a lot of cool assets on the field. Um, wow. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of cool what now? Wow. Can you say I, that again? What? Say that again. I, well, you just said ass. As a lot of cool. Well, you just said what? There's a lot of cool assets on the oh, field. Yeah, assets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, got yeah, it. Okay. A lot of, so lot of like, things happening. I miss her. Liabilities. Yeah. Just yeah. All assets. That's yeah. like earlier today. He couldn't properly say fuck it. He, he had to say fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> I mean, that's just a simpler, easier way to Regardless, say Regardless, you're enjoying yourself, you're enjoying the women that are here. Yeah, they're, they're cool. This they're occasion cool. You have makes nothing me else? want to have some sort of technological advancement where we can track Zach's eye location. Oh, I See what win. devious little Zach is up Make to. Make him wear oh, Google honestly. glasses. I'm honestly. not wearing Google glasses. He just has like a little thing in Zach's face. Zach's been keeping his eyes on number three this entire game. <laughs> you mentioned dubious little Zach. Oh, well, you heard Jesus. it here first. We made it through one half. We got one more oh, half to go. Let's see what happens. We got back from half in a neck and neck game and we were really wondering when this game was going to take off in one direction or the other. Then number seven, Lauren Ziegler stepped up for the Empire. I think we just witnessed the most amazing thing in X League history. That was insane! That was insane! That was insane! She was amazing. She caught some absolutely ridiculous plays and really kind of kept the offense going for Atlanta. The Empire fought hard and they were ultimately able to take home the dub 50 to 34. After the game, we had come to find out that there was actually going to be a meet and greet. I want a picture with Mommy Ziegler. <laughs> she's been in the league for nine years. Nine she years. Is. She's been in the. She knows. <laughs> when she made that 40 yard catch. Oh my god. <laughs> it's oh, over. over. Lights out. Over, dude. Meanwhile, Ricky's out here. He's. he's I'm, a, I'm a bit of a. Uh, I'm a bit of a knower. <laughs> you put me in a room alone with her and a bottle of tequila, and we'll have a great time. I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> what? Oh my god, dude. <laughs>
Oh my god. <laughs> so naturally, we spent the next five minutes getting a poster signed and a chance to meet the illustrious Lauren Ziegler. Dylan was in love, Zach was in awe, and Ricky, well... Ricky was Ricky. All of this gave me a newfound appreciation for women's sports, and I'm really hoping I get the chance to see another X-League game soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!